you. Uh, Happy New Year. Hopefully you had a good holiday season and everything went well for you. We are going to get into this new year <laughs> with a new energy. Uh, we flipped the, flipped the number over and um, they're emphasizing a lot of weight on that energy switch from last year to this year. So, uh, and me in recognition of seven years on YouTube, I changed the, the headers up a little bit. So the graphics will be a little bit different. I don't know that I was being quite consistent anyway. <laughs> so we'll set some consistency in uh, the future here with uh, some of these headers being more cohesive. Okay, so as we move into the reading... I got the Isis cards, I got the Native Spirit cards, I got the Power of Surrender cards, which are going to be very powerful, because really the message here is, what do we need to get rid of in order to become uh, our in our infinite potential? So this is the scraping the bottom of the barrel for everyone here, and bringing all that up so it can be healed, released, and you can go freely into your future. This is the goal that I have in mind here for everyone that this reading, these readings touch. So we'll get into it with the Isis cards. I got my chakra cards and also wisdom in the house of night with me. So we'll see what we can drudge up from there. The first card is entered the chamber of healing. Scorpio <laughs> may be in uh, a phase of healing, right? I think everybody is going through this in some way, shape or form, uh, but it'll be different for everyone. So um, there is a high ability here to understand that we need healing from something. I think the problem where it becomes fuzzy is, is where exactly that sits. Um, there's something getting to us is the sense, and we may not be quite sure as to the root of that problem. So let's move forward into now energy. I usually pass, present, and future to keep things simplified and the second card here is in your present and we have the past life present power card the many spiritual faces of you now what they're showing me here is divinely as you were put on this earth to to go about and do what you needed to do there is an energy that is put slowly put upon you through your life and that could be societies norms this kind of thing things that <clears throat> really prevent us kind of over time they add up and they prevent us from going in the right direction and they're showing me the difference here um there's two snakes here one look into the past one look into the the present and the future the future and we are right in the middle, taking our time. And, and the sense they're giving me is we are sitting here in stasis trying to figure it out. This is a good thing because we may be frustrated that we're taking time, but nothing's being accomplished during this time. But as we move into this new energy, the sense is, is that um, it is destined for us to go forward in a certain type of way. So all of this stuff is naturally, through time, if we absolutely do nothing, it's going to pull that energy up no matter to be seen. So the, uh, the sense here is don't be stressed about going over and fine-tuning things because it's in, the natural process is going to bring it up to you over time anyway. But <clears throat> you may be somewhat stressed about this because you know there's something that's frustrating you something you need to get under but we can't seem to find it see it whatever and again um there's a frustration level here that's kind of blocking us from seeing clearly too as well so there's a sense of the scorpio being aware of this and just getting kind of flustered about it so we'll move into there's a lot more energy on this past life present power card but i'm going to continue forward and let the second line unleash on me here um so the third card in the future for the Isis deck here. Wings of Isis. Yeah, uniting with the angelic self. So that's what we're trying to do is unite with the the all-seeing, all-knowing, right? So there is something here <clears throat> that is preventing us from becoming all that we are. We know it's there. We kind of are confused or befuddled about what exactly it is we have to get rid of. So that's uh, frustrating us to a higher degree. <clears throat> the sense they're giving me is just uh, relax a little bit. Don't lose focus that we're looking, but 
don't put so much stress and pressure on it that uh, there's a time limit here. I get a sense of somebody like, I got to fix this so I can move forward. And I, you know, like I'm behind. You may be, but everybody's got their own timeline. And there's there's allowed some elasticity there for uh, for moving. And here is is you know is the same here. And they're, they're trying to stress that here. We're getting stressed over the fact that we <clears throat> we're kind of creating our own blocks. Okay, I'll move on <laughs> to the next row here as we get into the chakra cards and see what they bring up uh, as we go forward. So the chamber of healing is here. We are entering, we are frustrated and flustered. We're kind of not understanding the root or we may know what needs to go, but not understanding how to rid ourselves of it, this kind of thing. So the chakra card on top of the healing chamber is the knight of coins. Okay. This is, uh, yeah, it's talking about somebody who's making money and they're going, it's not the card in reverse, but this is where blocks are happening in our financial sector. Jobs, uh, you know, it, they're showing me the root chakra. Things that make us feel solid. We're not exactly where we want to be in a certain way. And this can be highly frustrating, especially if it blocks our finances. And it's blocking our finances because this is the last place they want to go for you because... We need to figure it out. We need to get rid of it and da da da. And so it's all come into light here is, is the sense. Like our system is working efficiently and properly as it should. The frustration factor is high for the Scorpios. There may be some problems in the financial sector where we can't make connections. We can't uh, keep jobs or... Um, hmm. Yeah, the sense is we may be getting jobs, but they're part time. We get laid off, and you know there's interruptions in the in the stability of this. This is all part of um, the energetic patterns that we have here. So the Knight of Coins is someone who builds their finances, and they are trying to make a stable future for their way forward. I feel like this is this is what we're after, or this is what we're trying to s stabilize. And two, they're giving me a message too. Some of these Scorpios are just not. <sighs> Some may be um, over this to a degree they know now that we need to satisfy the self. We can't go to jobs that are just money only. Meaning, do we enjoy these jobs? So some of the Scorpios may be along the line of going, yeah, I don't enjoy this. And I'm doing it anyway because i got to make the money. i got to pay the bills. Which is not a bad theory per se. But if we're looking for higher control of our happiness, right? If that is something that's going to stop us up in the future, we're going to be completely unhappy with what we're doing. We need to move more in a direction where everything's, everything aligns, where, um, cause, and, and I've been proven this as well. We may have to go in a, a lower paying job to begin with, right? Then we were unhappy. We're unhappy at a high paying job. We may have to go to a lower paying job and do a happy job. And eventually you can build that up. Like you, there's, there's room for movement there. And it may seem at first that we have to take a cut, but there's potential. There could be potential, more potential than the other way. Actually, we may have stayed at that rate, but we may go down to one that's more adjustable as we learn and grow, we get paid more, this kind of thing. <clears throat> so anyway, that's the, this is the past energy here. And I feel like it's something we are presently working on. Some are being successful. Some are just trying to figure out what is blocking. So the next card, past life, present power, the many spiritual faces of you. I feel like we are realizing there's a past here and especially the turning of a new year it's like a clean slate i want to go forward i don't want to do things the way or the mistakes that i did in the past i want to go forward and in clear energy i get that highly here the chakra card we have here is the four of coins <clears throat> that's like the, the the greedy kind of keeping things to myself card now i feel like um yeah we're kind of tripping up again this year is made for us to realize everything cleanly and go forward cleanly. Okay, so keep that in mind. There's a no fail safe here. Beyond that, we get into the four coins. That is us hoarding our money. And the minute we say there's not enough, we have that energy of needing to hold it in. 
uh, there's an energy that wants to take it out right away. Um, that's a sense they're giving me. Now, <laughs> yeah, there may be a problem here. Either we may have some Scorpios have a problem saving money or they're at a spot in their life right now where they need to save a lot in order to start fresh and anew right? So you may have gone through a divorce and now you have to start from scratch. So you kind of have to hoard all your money to save for a new house or a new place or whatever. And you're kind of in between uh, zones there. So there's a sense of keeping our money to ourselves. It, be careful with that energy frequency. Don't get too carried away with it. But uh, for, for those on the positive level or mediocre to positive, um, those ones will have a sense of healthiness to it meaning I am trying to build my finances so that I can get independent on my own whether it's through a divorce or you know or simply losing a house and needing to refurbish or something like this four of coins is here to embellish that and and they are making me aware of the white light behind so there's a sense that we can do this and still uh, continue to to go in this way for those that are not in jobs, this is going to be a struggle to get into that wave. But once we're in that wave, then everything will fall into place. But there is a block here for some. Okay, moving forward. Now on the wings of Isis, we're talking about the future, uh, uniting with the angelic self. We're trying to become our most positive uh, on this timeline here. And the shocker card we get on that is the world card, yeah. There is a completion here, <laughs> and it may be even in the financial sector here. We may have had a, what do you call that? Poverty mindset, okay? And, um, <clears throat> yeah, that is being overcome, is what they're saying. <sighs> we may have some energy here, frequencies that we're dealing with, that were blocking us, where either we came from, um, how do you say, we may have come from humble beginnings. And because of this, uh, anything that we make, it, it, there's a stress level to it. It's like, we don't want to lose it. We don't want to, right? We don't want to go. We want to be better than where we came from. And not that I'm not making light of anybody's history, but I'm just saying we've seen poverty. We want to rise above that. So we want to work harder than someone who hasn't seen poverty, right? So we want to make sure that we are stable in our future. And especially if we're going to continue forward in a family or some kind of a unit. <clears throat> so there's that. There's a lot of positive energy here in the future waiting for you to uncover this last mess of stuff, of emotional, because it usually comes down emotional block, or, an emotional problem comes down to a physical block. And for this Scorpio, its finances are being blocked till we figure out what our emotional problems are. And I'm sorry, some people don't believe that, but that is what they give me and they reinforce me of that through every reading. So this is a need to look at that in, the, in this such a way so that we can figure that out. We may, you know, that perception change may open up doors for us. Okay, we're going to get into the last row here with the House of Night cards and see what it brings up. So on top of the Knight of Coins, again, we need healing um, in order for us to go cleanly in the financial sector. Again, you'll know when you're making progress here because those doors will start to open up, money will start to flow in, and everything will start to balance out and the stress will be going down, okay? Now, on top of the, the Knight of Coins, we have Fulfillment. Yeah, we're looking for fulfillment in the financial area. We we feel like this financial area, which, I mean, makes total sense, right? When you block that, you really start the stress. You start, the, everything starts backing up. Um, <clears throat> especially in the world today, it's just, it, things don't go as far, right? So the fulfillment, we want to be fulfilled. We want to have money flowing so we can do extracurricular things. We, we want to go out and, and be happy and social and whatnot. And finances really puts a, a chokehold on that. So fulfillment is here. It, it's in your energy field. Again, there's just some work, emotional work that needs to be done in order to kind of break free of 
all of these stops that we have in our field. Okay, the Four of Coins. So for some of you, you may be <clears throat> building your finances to a degree to uh, become independent in some kind of way, shape, or form, or separate from something um, in, in a way is the sense I feel. So you may be a, a college kid saving for a house to get out of the parents' home. You may be uh, a person going through a divorce, so we got to save to get out on our own and be independent, or, it, you know, some kind of scenario like that. It's a big uh, change, and therefore it... it, it um, you got to harbor a, a big savings. And the sense here is it's all under light and guidance. Because if we get too carried away with that energy, it can actually block. But here, we are just being, um, <clears throat> what do you call that, diligent and it's saving up money so that we can become on our own. Now, on top of that four coins, the wisdom card is the grove. Yeah. Okay, so here we are in the present. We are, there's some... Scorpios may be in a depressive state. We may have a lot of things under the surface that are confusing us. And we, again, don't know where to start, where to begin. And may not know exactly, again, the root cause of what do we attack and what's going to unhinge us from all of these blockages. I feel like we are in the groove of um, trying to find that out. Again, there was a frustration factor here. But it's part of our path to move forward in this. So right now, I feel there's a stagnant energy of frustration. <clears throat> I wouldn't say high. I would say about a three. But the sadness is about a six or a seven. Because we're frustrated. It's like no matter what we do. And we feel like we got our, our instinct intact. And being a water sign, that's naturally there. So we're getting frustrated that we're not making any accomplishments here. <clears throat> in a certain kind of way. So, as we move forward into the future, again, the world. So, there's a cycle here that needs to close out. And that will help us unite with all of the energy that can help us move forward. But until we clear up those certain areas, right? And as we move into that, the House of Night card is choices. Yeah. Hmm. This is interesting because they're saying we can make wrong choices here. But again... It is our fate to open these doors back up again, and <clears throat> depending on the choices we make here. Now, give me a minute because I'm getting a long line of of the Scorpio going. Yes, I may, I'll make this a conscious effort, and being more conscious in their decisions, saying I will not put up with that, and I will put up with that to make. And all of the key here in the Scorpio's mind is happiness, right? And the universe is in alignment with that always, right? Do your happy. Now, as we do that, there is a sense here we're going to get tempted by big money, but no fun type thing. And they're going, again, we will go down that road not so far before we reject it. And then we get back, you know, back to square one here. <clears throat> so be careful of being enticed by money speaking to you too highly. We're we're in a stage here where uh, I think we're going to be tested in the financial area. We're looking for stability. Be careful who we jump out to. Do your due diligence on the people um, that are coming in and offering you big prizes here for little, you know what I mean, for little effort. Because <clears throat> to a certain degree, right? We got to go with flow where things kind of fall into place. But if it's too good to be true, right? Be careful there. Um, I, I get somebody coming in and either making an offer or bringing something like a job to our, our um, universe here. And it just, uh, it may not please us on a level and it may not... Uh, fulfill our financial wishes here the sense is it might be a pipe dream is the sense so be careful of that because there's a completion here in the financial sector that wants to end frankly we're on the tail of it and quite highly coming up, up, up upon it why can't i speak <gasps> we're coming across it upon it and the sense is we could make a wrong choice, but then it'll just plunk us back to the beginning and we start over. Um, they're wanting you to highlight this to you to make sure that, you know, um, to, to foresee this. 
to look deeper into this. And if it is a good decision, it's a good decision. But we look through it with due diligence because we will find out whether it's good or, or not. And the sense is that um, we want to kind of get rid of the riffraff in order to go for the solid state, right? We don't want to go for the used car part because we want to make sure that this thing is going to run for the long term. That's kind of what I'm getting. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so the money cut to pay half price or a quarter of what you would have paid for a brand new part. Go for the new part. We're looking for long term stability here. Okay. <clears throat> we get into the clarification cards. Um, you know, because they said, yeah, we we're going to get into the past, uh, life, present power. There's a lot of power that is coming to you. The sense is the Scorpio is somewhat uneasy with it. And if they cannot see clearly where these pitfalls are, we need more work to be put in in order to be prepared for our power. So it's slowly going to trickle in and slowly un, un, er, unveil to you what needs to be. So this is part of the path. So it's, it's just a growing path here. And there may be some frustration that's disappointing us and keeping us down. But, you know, we are, uh, how do you say, not doomed, the opposite of doomed. We are, you know, magically inclined to go in this way. So just keep you know, keep swimming, keep, keep going, you know, kind of thing. You'll come across it. Uh, and that's kind of the Dory thing is going on here. You know, where you kind of, oh, hi. And then you just kind of short term forget. And then you keep going, but you keep getting forward no matter. Even if you're not making progress or your mind's not in the right place, you keep making progress forward because the universe is on your tail kind of thing. So, <clears throat> We'll get into the clarification cards. There's power surrender cards. What do we get there? Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. And remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Yeah. I feel like we're starting to accept ourselves on higher levels. That white horse is kind of like the spirit guide that we we may have in the background not embraced to the full extent, fullest extent, but we are using our instinct and we are utilizing all the tools and we're doing the right things. We just, um, you know, we miss a few exits here and there, but it's okay because we're, we're going in the right direction and we'll get there, whether it's the long road or the short road, right? They want you on the short road to get there quicker, faster, whatever. But if we choose the long road, there's a reason. There's lessons there that you pick up along the way that you wouldn't get on the short road. So that's what you needed. So in a sense, it's not a wrong move. It's just a longer path to get there. And the sense, too, is we are coming to our... And on this sh this longer path, we are coming uh, more inclined to accept those parts of us that are magical, that are different that are right we're accepting that so this is all good it's all part of that flow and that white horse is just that guidance coming through okay so the native spirit card that we have for you walking in beauty isn't that something nice <laughs> that's a good ending i'm gonna get the um the book on this very nice card i'm i'm a sucker for sunsets and this is very beautiful scenery here and that was one of the things that attracted me to this deck and then when I actually got in it it was like whoa this is a deep deck super deep so it was something I needed as well walking in beauty the meaning radiant beauty surrounds you you're beautiful inside and out no matter what your age your grace is growing that's interesting yeah I feel that there's a silent grace within you that is gaining momentum and uh that is what needs to be focused on as well so yeah they hit on that no matter what your age your grace is growing being in balance as you walk in beauty and feel gratitude for it your life will be filled with immense splendor and whenever you can spend time in the natural wild spaces as you see and hear and feel beauty around you your own beauty will grow what the Native spirits want you to know is that in Native American traditions, there's a concept of walking in beauty. It's called, mm, I'm not even gonna, it's H-O-Z-H-O-N-A-A-S-H-A. -A -A -A. 
in the Navajo Diné tra tradition, and it means being in balance with the natural way of life. And when we are in the right relationship, quote unquote, with the natural world around us, we are walking in beauty. The more you sense and see beauty around you in your environment, yourself, your body, the more it will fill your life in all forms. And never say anything about yourself or your body that's negative and don't put down yourself or others. Instead, affirm beauty and take time to adorn your body. Sorry. Don't put yourself down or others. Instead, affirm beauty and take time to adorn your body and personal space. Walk in nature and inhale the beauty of every part of our wonderful planet. Man, my lips just don't want to go with the words here. Cherish yourself and the luminescence within you and you will glow. So that's interesting because there's some stuff here. There's energy drops when I read. And one of them was, uh, never say anything about yourself or your body that's negative. Don't put down yourself or others. I know I have, I have a problem sometimes doing this. I mean, when you look at the political state, it's very easy to see this, but nonetheless, <laughs> it's hard to hold back the negative, right? Cause that's all you see. That's all that's getting pushed at you. That's all. And I know I have a little, um, trickle of mud in this area that I did get off my boot. And that's, that's that complaining about. And, um, that's the same thing I see. And it's a very, it is very irritating and it's irritating because you have a little bit left and you need to clear up. Otherwise you just rise above it. Right? So this may be part of is, is seeing the beauty in our universe so that we can, we can more amplify that within our own selves. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, of um, trying not to diss others is I feel is there's there's a huge energy drop here. So somebody here has a problem with staying positive outside of them. Like you go outside and you just see the universe. Suddenly you're 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 dissing everybody you come across. And that's that's part of of things that need to be removed, uh, replenished in a new form, meaning uh, let's look at things like instead of, okay, they're going, it's obvious, right? To us, this person that uh, the energy I'm picking up, it's obvious the negatives here because we've been transformed to, to pull negative. And so now we have to flip that and we have to look at, at people we're, we're taking a negative to and take one thing that is good about them and then just walk. Just walk, just transform that one thing. So you're seeing someone, maybe you're seeing someone being mean to the elderly or you're seeing someone being mean to a child and you take one positive out of that. You know, it's hard when you're seeing bad things, but um, I'm talking on the regular, you know, somebody's had a bad day and they're being harsh and you don't like that and it grates on you. Take one positive thing, just one they're saying. Amplify that and walk and then turn your back. Release that energy. Don't let it hang with you for the rest of the day. So there's somebody here who has a lot, uh, a hard time getting rid of releasing negative energy. They suck it in from the universe outside of them and they harbor it and then they spit it back out. And they may be unaware as when they spit it back out is the sense. That may be part of the healing chamber is learning to heal that energy in us before we release it back on others. This could be boundaries and whatnot. Okay, so <clears throat> again, cherish yourself and the luminescence within you and you will glow. The journey, so this is the action you can take. Create outer harmony in your home environment, even in small ways such as a vase of flowers, a scented candle, a clean window. Your inner grace and radiance will begin to shine even more brightly. Wherever you go, look for beauty in your surroundings, and as a result, the world will become more beautiful. And I know as a woman, when you clean your house, you feel great and wonderful. <laughs> it feels good and nice. You know, you have your counters clean, you da da da, everything, or your room, or you make your bed, you know. It's kind of like you wake up and you don't make your bed. And there's days that I have this, don't worry. And there's days that I don't care. <laughs> there are days that you just, oh, I'm just late, or it's one of those days, and you kind of don't, you get to your room and the bed's not made it throws you off though there's an energetic pattern there that comes from the disarray 
So there's a sense of maybe even, uh, you know, tapping into that to help you out. So your surroundings, beautify your surroundings a bit so that we are more comfortable, more content, and more grounded in that. And then when we feel beautiful, like, you know, it's like somebody... I always know a bachelor when they move in because they got nothing on the walls. They got nothing to pretty, you know, no doily. <laughs> Not that I'm a doily fan, but nothing to beautify their home. It's just the bare minimum, their chair, their TV, and their table beside the chair, right? It's just give me a beer after work and da, da, da. Like, you know, so you want to kind of glorify your home a bit or if that's where you spend the most time and, you know, make it your own and do some, I'm getting that highly here. That can help you connect with the right energy to connect with everything that you need to line up to go in the right way. Because <clears throat> I feel like we're not doing anything wrong. We're just frustrated we're not getting further, faster, quicker. And the sense is, <clears throat> is that frustration level is starting to block us from things that da-da-da. So anyway, walking in beauty is here. And a beautiful sunset. And the sun setting. Uh, there's in this book as well, I'm taking more information uh, from the native tarot deck or the native oracle deck. When you, I go outside and I watch the sunsets all the time and it just does something. I just, I like the time of day. It, everything starts to settle down and I, I like the, um, I used to be a night person and I love the nightlife and uh, a certain age you kind of slow down a bit so it's not what it used to be and um, the transition from day to night for me there's magical energy there and I just sit and watch sunsets clear the day and get ready to you know bring on a new a new day after you know your eight hours of darkness but <clears throat> what I'm saying is you can actually um, sit in the sunset and, and watch, you know, God's green earth kind of thing and send all your negative energy to the sunset while it takes it and, and pulls it into the darkness, right? It pulls it away from you into the darkness. And you can use that as a meditative way to, um, cause as the sun sets, it's pulling all that energy. If you visualize, this can be very powerful, uh, energetic clearing for every single day you use the sunset to pull all that negative and just do with it what you will give it up to the hands of god or what, whoever you believe there is a greater power no matter and it's it, you know it, what, whatever you call it it doesn't matter we're all going to the same you know we're all dancing to the same drummer kind of thing so they're all up in that way so it's just a matter of giving it up to that energy field and letting it take it away from you and and that you know, de-stresses in itself, that can relieve in itself. I don't do this enough is what they're saying. <laughs> so I haven't done it a lot over the Christmas season because, you know, you have a hectic, you have company, you got to clean, you got to do this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be tapping into that more. You know, when things settle down, that's when I go back and I do my regular routine. But when you have company coming in, it kind of throws everything off. But you're happy because you got company and you got, you know, and all this stuff. But nonetheless, you're seeing the beauty of life in that kind of way. Hopefully that helps you in some kind of way. There's some choices coming in the future, I feel, to kind of test what you know. And for different um, Scorpios, some will fail, some will pass. But when you fail, you do not truly fail. You just take the long way. That's it. So they want to emphasize that. So it's not like a failure. We're not becoming a failure. We are just taking the longer path and on that longer path, and I say this to my son a lot, uh, you will get it. There's no failing. You'll never ever take that lesson and take it for granted because sometimes when you take the fast trail that's like the Coles notes you take the shortcut and you don't get all the little finer details when you take the low ro the slow road or the long road you get all those details you get them all you got them it's packed it's locked we're good uh we will not fall for this again kind of thing so so either way it, um you know it's kind of better to take the long road because then you you do it's it's same it's equal is what they're saying we get there one way or another, so I'll stop talking there. Okay, <clears throat> walking in beauty, make that part of your ritual in your daily life, is to see the beauty in the world around you. 
And if there is no beauty and there's only darkness, we need to find the beauty within those things. The one thing that is beautiful and let it go, <clears throat> release from it, don't take it on. Um, and surrender to the magic of who you are because you are um, unlimited potential and we all have magic within us, even in the mundane <clears throat> and the uniqueness that comes with you just from being you. The spiritual, I'm, that horse they're showing me like as a, it, it wings and how big it can get uh, standing behind you and you're looking forward. So there's a huge spiritual energy behind you, pushing you forward. And again, we're going in the right direction. So it's all good. Surrender to who you are and it will help you. So Scorpio, that is your first reading of the year. Hopefully that helps you on your path. There seems to be a little bit of a frustration factor, but we are, we are not doomed but we are fated to get over it so take care have fun and be kind and we will talk to you soon